Hi, I'm Adam. Today I want to talk to you about email initiation in Xmatters. It's a great way to get started with Xmatters, but also if you've got a tool which you can't integrate over REST, then you can use email initiation to kickstart your workflows in Xmatters from that tool. Let's take a look. Over in the workflow tab, I'm going to create a new workflow. We haven't got any templates that we can use for this, so we just create one custom workflow. When we create a workflow in Xmatters, it actually comes in as disabled. So very quickly, just pop back to the workflows tab and enable the workflow. Then we can come back in and go to the flow designer tab and create our canvas and email initiation. That's good. Most of the magic is really going to happen with this email initiation trigger. So I'll pull that into the canvas over here and go and configure it. Know that everything in Xmatters happens as a user, as a person, and at the moment it's going to be happening as the authenticating user, which is set to myself, and it will be set to you as you come into here. Over here in the trigger ID, this is going to be the email that you're going to be sending emails into Xmatters to. I don't like the trigger ID, so I tend to put in something that I can actually remember. And copy the email address there. Let's send an email into that email address to see what that looks like. Great, send that in. So it's going to take a little while for the email to get through all those email servers and get over to Xmatters. If you go to the signals report, you'll see it come in here. And if there are any problems with the emails, they will still show up here in the signals report and you can dive into what the problems might be. This one's come through, 202 accepted is what we want to see, so that's great. Clicking the uh, link here, I can go straight back to the canvas. So then you can decide what you want to go and do with that. I want to create an alert, so I'm going to bring in the create alert step there and connect it up and into the template, what you'll see is you've got all of the outputs of the email initiation step there. You can see there's two bodies here. I tend to use the plain text body. It's very often the same thing as what's in the HTML, but without all of that HTML content added in. So I'm going to pull them in. And in the subject. I have a group in here called on call and that's it. We're ready to go. Let's send in a new email. Great. Not the most inspiring alert, but we've got all of that content that's come through. So the only thing about that is it's a little bit too easy. Literally anyone can send an email into that workflow and kick off the process. You might want to put some authentication in around that. We can add the email address that we're sending the email from to someone's device in Xmatters. And then when an email is sent from that email address, we will run the workflow as them. First of all, let's go into that email initiation step and enable authentication. You'll see that the authenticating user disappears because the workflow is now going to run as the user that sent that email in. So let's add the email address that we're sending from to a device. If we go to the signals reports, we can see in the payload, we have all the information about the email that's being sent in, including the email address which it came from. So I'm going to take that and I'll go and add it to a user. I have a user which I already created. This is the application user here. And I just create an email device with that email address. That's simple. Make sure that user has the privileges it needs to send alerts in Xmatters. I've used the role incident manager in this case. So that's it. Let's send an email in again. I'm going to go back into my workflow to check out the new activity. Great, right, here we can see it. And most importantly, we can see now that the sender is actually the user ID of that application user. Great, so that's easy. And you've got some authentication as well. Best of both worlds. We are interested in creating any videos that you want to see. So let us know what you want to see in the comments below and come back soon for more content.